Hey guys, you ready to go to the restaurant? Uh, yep. Shotgun! Uh, Edmund's got a shotgun, Finny. <sighs> Fine. Uh, where are we going again? The expensive eatery. Oh, sounds fancy. It's pretty high end. <sighs> Let's leave! I'm hungry. You're, you're always hungry. Exactly! Let's leave! <sighs> hey, why aren't... Chomping Yellow Bear here. Oh, they they don't allow children under 12. They say it uh, ruins the ambiance. Hmm. May I see your wallet, please? To why? Oh, they need to check your wallet to make sure you have enough to pay for your meal. If you have under $1,000, they won't let you in. But, but why would I? I'm actually paying for this meal. Uh, $3,500, and I brought my checkbook as well. Very well, sir. Uh, let's see the menu. Hmm. Do you see anything you want to eat? I don't know. That $300 seems excessive for an appetizer. I brought enough money. Okay, but I don't, I don't see anything on here that I would enjoy eating. Uh, waiter? Yes. Do you have any burgers? Oh, uh, we, we don't serve peasant dishes. The, uh, hamburger isn't a, isn't a peasant dish. It's a, it's a, it's a popular meal served at most restaurants. Uh, order something off the menu, please. But what if I don't want uh, an endangered animal tasting platter? Well, you just you just order something different. Yeah, Edmund. Are you ready to order? No, I. Your voice just went over 90 decibels. If you go over 110 decibels, it's company policy to throw you out the front door onto the pavement. Company policy. Yes, and we've ensured that the concrete is very rough and painful to fall. How do you even track something like decibels? This device. I'm ready to order. What would you like? Uh, I would like to order the spicy garlic skewer. Well, but that's $600, and it's just whole garlic cloves. Uh, I'll take the octopus caviar with grilled clams. That's $800. You're getting a bit loud there. 87 decibels. Just order, Edmund. Okay, um, what's the special? It's steamed Venus flytrap with arsenic glaze. Arsenic is a poison. Well, the critics haven't complained. It, okay, you, you know what? I think I'll just get these shrimps. Um, why is there a question mark after shrimps? Ah, okay, see... We don't have confirmation of what they actually are. They look like shrimp, but it's possible there's some other form of crustacean. The label came off in shipping. I'll, I'll take them. Will that be all? Uh, yeah. Can we get a plate of nachos for the table? Sure. Oh, actually, can we change that to the deluxe wax fruit bowl? <laughs> uh, this is imported papyrus, $350 per pad. I'm not going to waste this restaurant's paper supply just to <laughs> satisfy a customer. <laughs> Whatever happened to the customer is always right. Dad, these portions are abysmal. They are pretty small. They're minuscule. 90 decibels. Um, waiter? Yes. These dishes are way smaller than the prices would have you think. Well, it's not my fault you misunderstood the menu. Finney's garlic skewer was served on a toothpick. Yet you have a problem with the bite size? There was only one! That was 120 decimals. What? Bye. Finney, we don't have 
to stand for this. Uh, can I get some more ice water? Certainly. Finny! Here you go. What is this? You just spilled water all over the table. What? You've spilt water all over the table. Just a bit louder, please. I can't hear you. You've spilt water all over the table! 130 decibels. Oh, come on! Your bill? Fine. $4,600? How? I'm positive I added it up correctly. Water is $200 a glass? It isn't complimentary? It doesn't even taste good! It tastes stagnant! I'm not paying to keep this joke of a restaurant in business! Wow, 180 decibels? That's a new record. Do you want to put your picture on the Bordeaux fame? No! Well then... Did you put your picture on the Bordeaux fame? What? No. Uh, what? You just... Uh, what are you doing, man? Okay, let's just, let's just go through your thought process right now, alright? You walked into the restaurant, you had dignity. And then in the restaurant, you did say you lost your dignity, alright? And then they gave you a chance to get it back, along with a prestigious award. And what did you do? You just, you straight up rejected it. Next time you get a prestigious award, you take it, you run with it, you, you do something with it.